Hello. Uh, this is my Batanium self-watering hydroponics planter. Uh, it's been sat here in the south facing window now for 28 days. Um, and I came downstairs this morning and I caught it during its watering cycle, which is every three hours. Um, and it's run out of water. So really impressed with how long it's lasted. And uh, yeah, very impressed with the tomato plants that have come up. I'm going to take off the top here very gently, clean out the reservoir and add another um, litre of water and the nutrients from the included pipette that you get with the botanium and plug it back in so our plants can keep growing. Yeah. I'll just unplug it and plug it back in now so you can hear the pump going and see that there's no more water coming out. I'm going to take off the top here very gently, clean out the reservoir and add another um, litre of water and the nutrients from the included pipette that you get with the botanium and plug it back in so our plants can keep growing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is unplug the botanium from the wall. And just like in the initial setup, take the top off like so there's a couple of things to check here and I'll show you a bit closer in a minute in a minute I'll just put this to one side for now just wanted to show you inside here so you can get a closer look um, as you can see there's a uh, bit of residue at the bottom there some finer particles from the pebbles in the top section bit of algae and whatnot. I've heard reports of people uh, having lost this little gasket in here. Uh, so it's a good thing to check if that's still there. Uh, this one is, so we're good to go. I'm going to clean this out, fill it back up the water, drop in our nutrients, put our tomato plant back on and plug it in. So we have um, the nutrients that come with the botanium, as it says on the front there, it is five full pipettes for one full tank of water. Um, and it's 10 deciliters, one liter of water. So let's put that in. Uh, water's in, nutrients are in. Let's put the top back on. There's this little notch on the top piece which lines up with the line on the reservoir. And you want to make sure this gap is completely closed. <laughs> 